Isn't it beautiful, Leon? To be engulfed and ingrained in nature is a luxury we should never take for granted. To whom much is given, much will be required. I hope you forgive my candor, but how do you fail to understand what's at stake? <laughs> I understand it well enough, Chairman, and I agree something should be done about it. But what I still don't understand is how a single day, a single action, could solve a problem that's thousands of years away. My duty isn't to this, this madness. No, you still don't understand. You don't understand anything. us, Leon. The very essence of nature sprawled out before us. And with every day, that essence diminishes. The energy we draw from nature will soon become overpowered. Our world will be exhausted of its resources only a millennium from now. A millennium is more than enough time to figure this out. Frankly, Chairman, I don't think you quite understand what you're proposing. I mean, to plunge the world into an atrocity in the hopes that people would live in a place where they wouldn't have to worry about the energy crisis is a completely flawed argument. It's not about solving the energy crisis. It's about saving the planet. It's about saving life itself. The people alive today will not even exist in the far future. What the world wants now doesn't even matter. If sacrifices have to be made today for a better tomorrow, and I'll happily pay the price. A better future isn't something you can create alone, Rose. No, no, of course not. It will take all of us. A people united, willing to make a change, or forced to pay the price of ignorance. The future is far more important than one day, far more important than an action, a person, a society or a government? We are all unaccounted for variables. The one constant is our Earth. We must take accountability to avoid tragedy. We can't waste a single moment. We can't waste a single day. Look, look, I understand your concerns, really, I do. Save the formalities, Leon. I apologize for this inconvenience here today. I appreciate the honest conversation we've had, but now I see what I have to do. Pride blinds even the pure. <laughs>